guys welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel if this is the first video that you're coming across with me my name is Britt K and I'm just going to show you guys how I transform my sink in my bathroom so I actually got this video from somebody so it's inspired by um her name is beauty with Ty, and I'm going to link her video down in the description I said I gotta do this to my sink when I saw her video so I'm gonna link it so here's the before you guys will see the after soon okay so the things you'll need so of course you're gonna need this contact marble paper it was only $4.99 on Amazon you guys I'm going to make sure I link that in the description so it's only $4.99 and I only needed to use one you're also going to need a card so the card is to smooth out the contact paper while you are putting it down to prevent any bubbles and stuff and then I also use this box cutter and I use some scissors I don't think I showed up my scissors but I did use some scissors so make sure your uh, sink is cleaned off of course you don't want to put the contact paper on top of any type of dirt <clears throat> so clean it off first okay so you're gonna want to start with the back piece like that part right there and I'm showing you that's underneath the mirror and you're gonna start with that because you're gonna lay the other piece on top of that so you're gonna see what I'm talking about in a second so first I'm just measuring this and then wherever I end up off on I do it like I cut a little more so I went up like an extra box or two when I did that Once you have your piece cut off, you want to measure it to make sure it's correct before you start pulling it down. So, um, oh, I have to clean it again. Okay, so I don't really suggest taking off the whole entire back piece and then gluing it down because if it sticks on itself, then it's terrible because I have to throw some away because of that. But here, since the piece is so small, it was easier to manage. So I think I'm going to pull it all the way off. Yes, um, you're going to struggle, but you go, you can get it right. Because with this paper, I was able to take it off if I messed up. And it would still lay down correctly and stick. So I'm actually going to end up taking this back off to uh, put it back down. Like, you wanna, I'm going to put it back down for facing me. Like, I, I can't explain it. Y'all just going to have to look at it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. I ended up taking the whole thing off because, uh-uh. I just ended up putting it on the top part first to measure it off the bottom. Because you want the bottom to lay on top of the flat um, part of the sink, too. So you didn't want it to fit perfectly against the back part. You want it to lay flat on top of the sink, like how it's doing right now. So then now I got it. Now I'm not struggling. Y'all have to watch me struggle a little bit. But now I'm not struggling. I'm smoothing it out with my card. And then smooth out. Then you're going to see me cut this end piece, which I actually did this part wrong. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it later on in the video. But it's all right. It still looked nice. This, this just wasn't the best way to do it, basically. 
then this is what I was talking about where you want the uh, paper to go on top of the sink as well instead of just on the back right here because you're gonna lay the next piece on top of this and it's just gonna make it look more seamless and nice so with this piece um, I actually okay so I did mine this way but it still looks nice but you see how this piece is kind of short I mean kind of um, what is it called narrow i guess because i cut the uh piece for the back part off of it next time i think i'm going to just cut that off and then put the big piece excuse me put the big piece first and then put this little part down at the bottom so my split can be lower down toward the sink but um this is still okay way i mean <laughs> i'm just so picky so i'm just cutting and measuring Okay, so this is the hard part because the big old sink is in the way. So with my sisters, I had cut hers. I did my sink and my sister's sink. So with my sister's sink, I did hers. Um, I cut hers in half. And then that way I did one half and then the other half, which made it easier. Instead of doing it as one big sheet, because that's what I did. See y'all, this is what I'm talking about when I say do not let it stick on itself. See, I should not never pulled off that whole piece of back paper because now look at it. And I'm over here trying to work with it. I even cut off this little piece right here because I was never going to get that unstick. I even tried to cut that piece, but it just still wasn't working out right. Like I'm going to end up balling this up and getting using another piece of paper. Y'all, that junk was making me so frustrated. I'm trying to work with it like, uh-uh. Just throw it away, girl. Exfoliate, the renegotiate, 
She's close enough. Come to visit me, she said that she the loneliest, and it's hard to open up. Open you up like a puffball. Open up. Tell you how for a puffball. Let your emotions fall, fall on me. Open up. Open up. Open you up like a puffball. Open up. Tell you how for a puffball. Let your emotions fall, fall on me. Open up. Open up. Okay, so with this piece, you're going to want to put it as close as possible to the um, top piece. Okay, so with cutting around the sink part, I didn't cut directly where I was supposed to. I just wanted to get uh, like kind of close to where I needed to go. So I didn't cut it exactly where I needed to go, basically, because I didn't want it to mess up. So later on, I'm actually going to perfect around the edges of the sink just so I can get as close as possible. Uh, don't mind my roommate. Uh, she came in and started recording what I was doing. Look at her. Okay, so at the bottom, when I tried to um, fold it under and stick it, I found that it wouldn't stick because it's like some type of wood at the bottom. And when it wasn't smooth wood, it was like rough. So it wouldn't stick, so I ended up having to cut that off. Open 
And this is the finishing look. I love it. So my marble paper paper is actually like dark brown. I mean, not brown gray. But if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave me some comments and questions that you guys have so I can respond. And subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.